Welcome to Auntie K's, your favorite radical queer indigenous auntie bringing you tarot every day. Hello everyone and welcome to Auntie K's Tarot. Today's video is Decks for Witchy Desires and we have 11 categories that we are going to go over and choose a deck for each one. This list came from a friend of mine who just wanted to help me out with creative ideas for content for the channel and because I was looking for some and um and they had this great idea of these list of witchy halloweeny harvest themed type of questions which is just great because it's every witch's favorite time of year and it's coming up on us and so I'm going to do this. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see the cards more clearly when I'm doing this this time. And absolutely, if you enjoy this, um, as well as like, comment, and subscribe, consider doing your own video of this and um, let's share the fun. So the first question up is, what is your familiar deck? And I mean, everybody knows, I'm going to say the Land Back Tarot, but um, this is a deck that for me is filled with people that I know and um, people that I love and care about. And so that definitely makes this deck... Um, my familiar deck in a, in a lot of ways this deck makes me feel like i'm um moving through a world that i know through a world that i'm a part of and that the people i care about are all right there along with me um the next one up is my jack-o-lantern deck um eerily illuminating and and for this I chose that feeling when which is by Lisa Tula Penrose who's also part of um, indie deck review this deck that feeling when you wing it in the kitchen and it turns out you're a god that feeling when you're guarding a powerful secret that feeling when a wish comes true and you wonder, am I a witch? That feeling when a life journey reroutes. That feeling when you're waiting for a car you know will never arrive. So this is a surprising little deck. Um, it's also absolutely gorgeous. And um, it brings up feelings that I don't think I always thought about. And um, so I would say this is my jack-o'-lantern deck, eerily illuminating. Next up, the next deck up is uh, my broom deck helps me fly, get where I'm going. For this, I'm going to say it's the Maybe Lenormand. Um, and, you know, I use both this deck and Demora's Fortunes a lot when I'm doing readings for folks on the hotlines. And I need that answer really quickly. I just did a... Um, an interview for a new hotline and they were really impressed with how quickly I gave them an answer and details. Um, I, I can be really fast. Um, one of the things I like about this one is the people in, um, in the little squares that show the cards. They're a little more interesting than your typical playing card person and the details of this also helps me when I'm looking for other people coming up 
in a reading, especially, um, you know, the sorts of readings I might be doing in that case. So um, this deck is going to be my broom deck. It helps me fly and get answers super quickly when people want them, um, you know, fast because they're paying by the minute. It cleans out the cobwebs. He saw uh, my last VR. You will know that Latero Archetypal would fit this category for me of cleaning out the cobwebs. This is a deck I pull out um, because I want to think and I want to think uh, about it hard and, uh, you know, get in there really deep. So for me, that would be Latero Archetypal. It cleans out the cobwebs for me. Up next is the Cauldron deck. Helps stir up magic. For this one, I chose, uh, I hope I pronounce it right, the El Turinga. And this is um, an oracle deck based on a dream work. And um, so you can use it like an oracle deck or you can use it to lay out parts that come that you had in a dream and you can lay them out and either just look at the cards or um, you can use the guidebook which deals with dream interpretation and um, so on that note I think this deck definitely fits the bill of a cauldron deck. It stirs up the magic because I do do a lot of dream work. Um, I, I definitely do recommend it for um, folks who are looking to work with their dreams. The, ne the next one up is the Honoring or Remembering deck. And for this, I chose the Morning Calm Oracle. This is by Seal Keller, and this this deck is amazing. So I think this hands down fits um, for honoring and remembrance deck. Um, I, I did also consider it for, you know, um, a cauldron deck, um, but this is hands down an honoring and a remembering um, deck. Um, it's gorgeous. Um, I find oh, it's fascinating. So this is a, a completely a hundred percent Korean based deck, and through the differences of culture, I feel this real connection and understanding even though I'm seeing things in, um, in, uh, in through another culture. Um, all, all these things are also really important, um, important to me and speak to me. And um, this deck is honoring remembrance and it's, this deck is a blessing. So next up is Flat Out Witchy or Halloween deck. So um, I brought two for this um, category because it's, you know, I didn't really have much in this category. So I got the Nightmare Before Christmas, which is a Flat Out halloween -y deck. And while this deck belongs to uh, one of my children, if I'm looking for a Halloween themed deck, uh, I, I do like to borrow it. I think it's really beautifully done. Um, this was their favorite movie as a child. Um, 
favorite time of year. They're an October baby. Um, and so there's this connection to that child too, beyond it being their deck. And it's, it's totally a Halloween-y deck. So for the witchy side of that, I have Ye Witches Fortunes, number 62. This is um, a cardamancy deck. And the backs on this deck is 100% uh, why I, I got this. Uh, they're gorgeous. They're these witches. Um, and it's a fun, it's a fun deck. Um, it, it is definitely 100% a cardamancy deck. Um, you have to be able to read through that. It has some of its own kind of designation, but it, um, did come with a PDF. Um, but, you know, you can use whatever system and ideas work. Uh, I, I do get a bit creative. Um, but it's just, it's kind of fun. And it's definitely a witchy deck. And to read with this deck, especially in a public place, um, it, I think it adds this like bit of mystery that, um, folks really enjoy. The next category is sweet treat. And, um, I totally chose fortune queen for this. Um, it's, you know, heavily used, but there's still the, um, light rose pink, um, gilding on there and it if you've paid attention to me on this channel this is a deck that brings me a lot of joy and makes me really happy and i have a lot of personal fun reading with this deck and um so it definitely is going to be the sweet treat this is what I'm going to go out and trick or treat hours for to then like just dive in and indulge in uh, maybe healthy or unhealthy amounts. No, I, I don't think it's as unhealthy amounts, but maybe with candy. This, this deck definitely makes me as happy as candy makes me. I am a big candy lover, sweet tooth. That's my deal, and this deck is the same kind of feelings when I eat sweet treats. So the next category is the Ugly Cozy Sweater Deck, and um, for this I chose Mystic Medleys. Mystic Medleys, it's, it's not pretty art. Like, the art is kind of uh, a little bit ugly but at the same time it's super comfortable and cozy um like those ugly cozy sweaters that you know I at least am so ready to put on when fall comes around I'm I'm so ready for it at that point and so I'm gonna call this the ugly cozy sweater deck it's not pretty or attractive by any stretch of the imagination but it feels really comfortable and i you know enjoy wearing it and um you know it gives me that feeling of when fall is finally here and it's time to put on your favorite cozy but perhaps ugly sweater so that you know it's finally fall um, the next category after this is, um, the Worth a Cackle deck. And for this, I chose the Mystic Gnome Tarot. So, um, this deck is just charming. It's funny, 
look at these bags. Like, do they not make you want to, if not cackle, giggle? Look, look. Uh, that was a perfect card to come up. So this deck is also a happy place deck. Uh, these adorable gnomes make me laugh or perhaps cackle and I, I really this is a deck when um, I need a bit of a lighthearted feel coming in at me because who can't just like adore these these little silly gnomes giving us this deep advice you know not me I'm I am all in for it. Even like shadow work, like they're cute and adorable. So this is my worth a cackle deck and um, I, I really quite enjoy it. And you know, both of those had some aspects of that category going on in it, right? So my next deck is um, Confronting Fear deck. And I chose Energy Archaeology. Uh, aside from being gorgeous, um, this deck is incredibly insightful. And as somebody who's 47 and spent um, my childhood and teen years um, as an athlete, so many parts of my body today ache and hurt and crunch and crack. And um, I can then use like where I'm feeling, you know, discomfort and find it in this deck and see what it's holding um what what I'm holding in that part of my body that, you know, really needs to be released at this time. And that's sometimes quite a confronting fear issue for me to dig in and see where I'm feeling hurt and pain and all the rest of it. Um, do not put your kids in competitive sports for your personal entertainment because the impacts on their bodies at that level of sports years later is not, not okay. Harvest, a deck you saved up for. Um, originally, I was saving up for the large size Next World Tarot when I managed to get it secondhand. And so was able to buy other decks also, which included The Nightmare Before Christmas for one of my kids. So I got the Triumphy Del Luna Paradoxical Purple Deluxe. Um, so on top of having, you know, all of the regular 78 cards, like there were all kinds of extras in this deck as well, including um, an entire uh, oracle, um, and also um, some of the cards had um, like other options to choose from, and um, I went through and chose the ones that I wanted to keep and work with. Um, it's like, there's a lot of extra cards in here um, and I saved up for it to get it. And truth be told, I'm really right now just working with the standard um, 78 cards. All right, so I hope everybody had fun and enjoyed um, that excuse to see Dex. Who said that on the last VR that I did? Uh, but ever so accurate. 
Um, I hope you all enjoyed it and had fun and I will see you all around.